What could be more British than a Land Rover Defender? How about a picnic? Going for a picnic and you need your picnic table. Well, it's kind of a picnic table slash workbench slash cooking table slash everything. So here we have our latest evolution of our Land Rover Defender picnic table project. It's been quite a sort of journey, hasn't it, Tyler? Yeah. We, we've evolved it several times. So the story of it was we first started trying to fit the Jeep, um, the Jeep wrangle up rear table that you can get on Amazon and we sort of butchered the brackets and we weren't really happy with it so we designed a set of brackets and that worked really well we've sold those really well to allow people to buy the Amazon Jeep Wrangler um, and we designed the brackets that just lined up with the Land Rover and looked a lot better and allowed you to fit the but then we were struggling people said well can't you sell me the whole kit I'm not sure which Amazon table you're buying and that so we thought, why don't we design our own picnic table? So we have designed our own picnic table and I will go through some of the features. It has got clips here for the hooks. There you go, like this, look, look these. Oh gosh, am I strong enough, Tyler, yeah. So these are, we use these on another product, don't we, Tyler? But they're really fun and really useful, so. Use them I guess on you could this product. Tie your dog or something to that, don't you? There you go, I don't know, but <laughs> hooks or your bull or your or... cow or whatever, I don't know, you're you allowed to tie children up these days. If they're on one of those reins, it's right in it, Tyler, you can advise me on this. <laughs> I never you know, use those a rein. Have you got those on? Those little, anyway, we're digressing. She just does what she's told. Just, yeah, you go, <laughs> that's what we like, right. Yeah, my two never did. Right. And we've also got this molly plate system on the back here, which aligns, and you can buy these sort of molly plate, you can put your first aid kit, your bits and pieces you need ready to hand. Right, and we also, we, we went a bit off piece, didn't we, Tyler? We, we went a bit all, Swedish. We went all a bit Swedish, we did, you see. There's a starting British look, and we're going Swedish. That is very they're, British are in itself. Europe, are they European? I never can remember with the Swedes. Yeah. They're, they're European, but they're not in the EU, is that right? Uh, Norway's not in the EU. Norway, I, so I'm getting all my Scandinavians mixed and up. And we're not in the EU. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start that. Don't start that <laughs> one, yeah. I, I wish I'd never said that, man. Right, what we got? Oh, oh, I didn't put sorts. my microphone on today, Tyler. They can what? hear you, look. It was, it was purposeful. <laughs> ah, right, the, <laughs> the worm has turned. Right, so IKEA do this range of stuff, and what's it called? They always call them cool things. Can we remember? It's like... Skellig or...? Skellig. S yeah, it sounds like... And basically, you can clip all these accessories into... Why is it not clipping in should, for me? Should we put the name on the screen? Yeah, we'll put the name on the screen. That's all. I'll do the homework, Tyler. Don't you worry. But it uses this little system and it clips into all these little fittings here. So you can do that and you can get all sorts of things for it, can't you? Where's that other little thing we have there, Tyler? I've lost it. A little try Anyway. Right. So there we go. Right. Everyone's bored with that. <laughs> It'd be easier to plug things in once. Right. We're so done. we've got these. Our standard table comes with these knurled knobs. But we did do that extra video, didn't we, with those quick release bonnet ones? They yeah. were quite cool, weren't they? Right. Oh, you can still do that. those. Look at that. Now this is not you this is what did Ben came up? Ben said this is what we could a serving suggestion. You know you have a pack of sausages, it doesn't show you just the sausages, does it? It shows you with a whole host of stuff on a posh. Well this is this is a little extra idea we had. Tyler knocked this up to show that you can actually use the space in between your rear panel. Don't need that That's in the there. Um, and you can take that out if you want. So we've put like a socket in here so we can get quickly to that. And cup holder. Dining for one. That's my <laughs> life in the toilet. And then a cup holder. Sat on the back of the fender <laughs> yeah. eating sausages. Yeah. In the doghouse. Right then. <laughs> but there you go. So you can use that. You can put your stove on there. Now that I was going to. So you have to cut your own one of that. But it's just to inspire you. We used. And I'm not sponsored. We used this stuff. It seemed to cut all right, didn't Shadow it? Shadow foam. Shadow foam. Yeah, it was easy. Gone. Right. So there we go. So that is our table. Now, the other thing we have changed. So we've obviously changed the shape here. We've added some cup holders. Or you could use matches utensil holders if you put a cup in there. We have changed the design from bits of wire to these straps. These straps. Now, we are actually going to change the design. Have I shown you this time? Mm, so well, at the moment, we've got three of these here. But I've worked out that I can actually cut these straps out of these if instead of making it a three, it's a two. So I've, I've, I've saved myself some pennies there. So the later ones will have two, not three slots. There. And you all um, know why. We all know why. Right. So this uses our bracket kit. And we now use this and we've got these little dough nuts. And you'll see why. 
And the way this works is as you lift it up, this comes up here and you'll notice I've put a little cut out here and that's because as it gets there, it catches that nut and pushes it back and it almost has an over center cam effect. So, there we go. So, and then you put your, so, right. We are now gonna show you how to fit the, we've already done the fit in the brackets, but Tyler said, let's just do one start to finish. So here we go. We are gonna put this car back now to normal and we are gonna show you the full kit and we are gonna show you how to install the full kit, brackets, table, everything, start to finish. Bam, here we go. Right, so there we go. The door card is back to original. So we are gonna show you the steps from the start. Right, so what have we got, Tyler? Wait for my camera to zoom around. Dangerous, we got Tyler on the tools and me on the camera. I don't know which is more dangerous. Right then. So we have a table, let's try and get this right. Right, okay, so we have the table and then we've got the two brackets. We have got the bottom, there's the bottom hinge there that goes into, let me zoom in a bit. Whoop. That goes into the table and we've got the bracket here, the side bracket, and they've got a little spacer that we'll see and a bolt, a spacer and a longer bolt. And then these top components here, you've got the thumb screw, the connector bolt and the, and we need a grub screw as well. You know, he's rolled off no, Tyler, no. he's gone for, he's gone for a roll look. And you need the grub screw that we'll put in. So there we go. Um, and then you've got the connectors here. The one to note is this dome nut goes on the middle joint. Right, first of all, we're gonna strip down. So what tools have we got, Tyler? We got some Spire. Allen head bolts. We got some Torx. C30, 10 millimeter spanner, and some Allen heads. Allen heads, Whoa. right. <laughs> Three and a four. four. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we are gonna. We Tyler is gonna remove these. Those one, two, three on both sides. Go for it, Tyler. So yeah. So the top, the top two, that the one he's doing at the moment are. Yeah, I'm not sure these are the original no, bolts. We've had <laughs> we've had them out so many times, but there'll be something resembling that ish. Um, so the top two is where we're gonna put the. This, these here, that one is where we're going to put the grub screws going to go in there. The connector nuts going to go around the outside so that that will form the end stop and the, the thumb turn docking point. Try not to drop them on the floor. Or drop them down the drain. Or the drain. We've got that one on, right? You got those. So if you're watching this, you may already have a table fitted. Yes. And our brackets. Yes. I don't know, I don't know, I think most people will be happy with the Jeep table, it's just some people said the Jeep table was getting hard to get. And ours is better. Ours is better, we would, we would say, we're always a fan of our own work, aren't we Tyler? Well I am. Right. Hinges, what's not like? So the next step is going to be, let me see if I can get some bits ready for Tyler. The next step is going to be to get the bracket. On. On, now these brackets are handed, there's a left and a right. So I've got you some bolts here, Tyler. So this is a... That looks like the left-hand bracket. Yeah, because these three got the top. Those three got the top inside, and the big curve follows this big curve on the bottom panel of the door. Go there. So Rob, Tyler will get that one on, and we'll join you putting the other one on, because it's harder to film in the corner. Mm. Right, so I just wanted to explain, so you can see that large curve goes at the bottom. Now, the door card is not actually flat. This panel here rocks. So that's why we need the spacers. If you if you tighten it against that, it would be pressing just in the middle here. So right, there you go, Tyler. So if you put the bolt through, top, top bolt through. Hold on, where am I filming? I'm rubbish on this camera. All right, there we go, yeah. Bolt and then, spacer. so just worry about the top one. Get that in. Everyone's gonna be screaming at the camera. Here. You're gonna have to go back on the cameras. What you wanna do is get that one in lightly. Because then you can, you can then swing this this bottom section around. You've got enough room. You've got enough room to get that all the way out there, Tyler, and get the get the bolt through spacer. The spacers are large. Do we three D print these? Yeah, both yeah. of them, I think. Or the two that are yeah. So that. That makes it sit nice and close, but the force is getting transferred right into the mount. It's not resting too much on this door card in the middle yet. Rattle those up, Tyler. You know, 
want to go ultra tight, but that's good enough. Right, so we've got two of those on. So you, you'll see now we've got the bottom pivot point for the tray and we've got the three points at the top there, which give us some adjustability when we put the tie straps on. Right, the next bits we're putting in, we're gonna put the grub screw in. We've got a little spacer washer and then we've got the connector that's gonna go through and that's then gonna form a mount which our thumb turns are gonna go into. Right, and let me hold those for you, Tyler. So I grab the grub screw. Size three. Put a little Allen key on it. They're a bit funny, some of those threads. They're not, they're sort of formed threads. They're not proper machined threads. Yeah, well, just double check. You can use the socket if it's, some of them will be a bit snarly, Tyler. You'll be all right. Mm, you're a bit snarly. You're not. Ours have been in and out a few times. There you go. Now the idea is you want to get this Allen key about flush. There we go. That's, so it's about flush as you look down the side there. And then your, your washer, the nails. which is just going to spread the load as we, as we put the connector nut in. It's just going to spread the load onto that plastic panel. It's now, you should be able to spin that on. If... If you have any problems, you may have to hold the, do you want to show how to hold the nut, Tyler? Hold the, um, put that on the outside. And then you can put the Allen key through the middle just to stop that grub screw yeah, turning, just to check it doesn't. It shouldn't because those threads are not. Yeah. Yeah, well, and that has given us, so that's given us now a captive, and it also forms the end stop. Yeah, and that'll that, go that will go in there. And that's why we need to wind it in to make sure there's enough thread for that to go in. Right, next bit, Tyler. Right, Tyler's got a better idea than I did. So he's saying, mount the the main table now onto the door with these thumb screws, and you, it holds it in place while you get the bottom hinge mounts in. So the bottom hinge mounts use these flanged head M6 bolts. You've got the long spacers there and a nylock nut. So there we go, Tyler. When you through this way, I haven't got much access to where the nut will be. But no, but you could. But I can put both bolts in and then hinge it on that. Yeah. And that'll give me access. Well, the this spacer way. should fit. Exactly. Exactly. Is that? Now, sometimes there's a little burr on those. Sometimes you do need to wind them in, but we found that was an advantage, didn't we, Tyler? Because yeah. they don't slip off. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So that's one in. Yeah. All right, we'll get the other one in. Right, with the spacers in, it's enough to hinge the tray down. So you can see now Tyler's hinged the tray down. And then we've just got to get the, the nuts on the end of the... So they're nylock nuts. Vibrate off. Now you don't want to do these up ultra tight because this has got to act as a hinge. So you just need to go enough through to catch that nylon thread. And then we're away to go. Oh, you're gonna have to use the open end. You've not got a clearance there. Ooh, ooh, no. So there we go. Put an Allen key in one and tighten that up. Yeah, you're gonna have to wind the Allen key so it, aren't you? Okay. Right, we'll get that tight. So there we go. It should come th through flush with the end, and that's already got the one. Tyler will tighten up the other one. Right, we have a tray now that folds down um but we don't have any stays so we're nearly there we just got to get the stays now the stays are a little bit tricky there's a few bits to them oh watch my paintwork right um so what do we have so we have a you've got two short one for each side obviously and two long stays so we are going to start with the short stay so grab the short stay tyler and then we are going to have so these these bolts are slightly different the stay bolts have got this very flat low profile head on them and you'll need one spacer and one nylock. Right, there we go. Right, and so the plan is to get the top stay. So obviously it needs all the stays sit in between the picnic table here and the bracket. So they've all got to go in this little gap. Right, one, one. Two. So we've got... It's actually making a sandwich. And then, yeah, making a sandwich. Over and over again. I'll zoom in so you can see it when he's got it on there. Oh, 
Oh, I'll tighten them all up at the end. Yeah. Got to make sure the action works. So there you go. You've got the short stay. You've got the head of the bolt. Then the stay. Then the spacer washer in there. Then the bracket. Then the nylock. Right. So we'll get that done on the other side. All right. While Tyler's doing that, I'll just point out there are three holes here. Go for the middle hole. This was primarily designed when we were when we were using the Jeep trays we found the wires on the jeep trays from china came in different lengths so i i gave some adjustment there but we've designed this to go in the middle hole the middle of those three holes right then you need the long bolt so we've got to get the long one and then you need again it's the same it's the same bolt these very low profile heads with the same spacer washer but this time you need one of these nylock dome nuts so these need to go in this middle joint Right, and Tyler, can you? I can't remember the sequence now, so. I can. Yes, the Perfect. dome nut needs to go in the middle. Now, the dome nut sits, as we saw earlier, in this little, this little recess. So we need to cut. We need to start with the little strap out, then we need to put the bolt in first. Bolt through the short. Bolt through the short. Then the. Then the washer. Between sits between the two. Hello, nice little. Gap, so they can move. Then, then the long the, strap, and then the yeah, nylock nuts. dome nut. Stainless steel nylock dome, almost the king of nuts. Right, so there you go, that goes there. And, and then, oh, he's smashing my car about today. He's, he's into swinging. Right then, what have we got next then, Tyler? So then we've got the bottom mount, so let's get the bottom mount on, which is same just the same, the same bolts that all these ties are. And the same spacer, and this one's got a nylock again. So we had to use these bolts because they're very low profile. And you'll see when you get it, there's there's quite a few layers of of the straps and the bolts between between the table and the bracket. So you're going in this second hole. Not this hole, one. Yeah. Bolt oh. strap. Strap. Spacer. Table. Nut. You may have noticed that all the low profile heads of the bolts are all... Yeah, they're all where we haven't got much, much room. Where it... I won't let it focus, right, yeah. Where it has to slide in between here is where we've had to use these low profile nuts. Right, we'll get them all tightened up and that will all work. Right, so there we go. We've worked it out. We've got Tyler back on the camera. So well done, Tyler. So that all works. We think that works quite well. If you've got any suggestions on improvements, there will be some, I know. Let us know. We, we try and take on board any improvement ideas. But yeah, it's a fairly straight in, straightforward install. No drilling, and then we can get, the, get our things on, and that's all super tight and fresh then. And, and we can go. And as I showed at the start of the video, you can cut your... What do they call that foam, that... Sealy, black shadow... Shadow foam, that's what they call it, shadow foam. Google shadow foam if you want to cut, or you could cut a bit of wood or something to go in there. But there we go, that's done, we will get those on the website. Good luck.